Hello viewers, welcome back once again to my channel, Math Made Easy with PDY. In today's lesson, we are going to solve simultaneous equations with the calculator. Now, we have some work examples from the WASI past question to help us do that. But before we use the calculator in solving simultaneous equations, we need to understand what we need to have in mind before we apply them. Equations must be orderly arranged in the form ax plus by equal to c. Now, what does it mean by that? All the variables must be arranged at one side of the equal to sign, and the true constant should be on the other side of the equal to sign. Therefore, our first example is 3x plus 5y minus 6. 3x plus 5y equal to negative 6 and 2x minus 3y equal to 15. That is equation number 2. So having 3x plus 5y equal to negative 6 as equation 1 and 2x minus 3y equal to 15. Let's compare whether it's written in the form ax plus by. So we have ax plus by equal to c. So when you compare equation 1 and that of equation 2, you realize that they have been perfectly arranged in the order ax plus by equal to c. Therefore, we can go ahead to use the calculator to program so that we have our answer straightforward. So any calculator any scientific calculator can be used to program and then solve simultaneous equations. But for this recording, I'm using Casio scientific calculator. That is FX991ES+. That is what I'm going to use. So in order to program, you press the mode button and select number five for equations. Now you have a bouquet of equations from one to four but for our recording purposes we are going to use number one which actually tells you how to solve simultaneous equation in two variables so selecting number one we are giving three columns and then two rows and for each column a b to c it represents the entries you need to key in for the formula. Therefore, the A represents the coefficient of x, the B represents the coefficient of y, and the C represents the true constant. So for our question, equation 1 has the coefficient of x for the A to be 3. Then you press the equal to sign. The next coefficient for y, which is for b, is 5 equal to, then you go for the true constant, which is negative 6. So we have negative 6 equal to. So the cursor shifts to the second equation. And for the second equation, the coefficient of x for a is 2 equal to, and that of b is negative 3. equal to to shift the cursor to the next column then the last input is 15 then we press equal to at this moment we've keyed all the information we need to solve the simultaneous equation so when you press the equal to the next time then the answers are displayed so we have x equal to 3 and then y equal to negative 3 so we have the solution here as x equal to 3 and y equal to negative 3. That is how we solve the simultaneous equation using the scientific calculator. Moving on to the next example, we have if half p plus q equal to 1 and p minus half q equal to 7, find p plus q. Even though in the question we don't have the variable x and y in a, now, you should also consider that the P and Q are representing the variables X and Y. 
So again, I equation one is half P plus Q equal to one. And equation two is P minus half Q equal to seven. That is equation two. Now, when you analyze it, you realize that both equations have been written in the standard form, which is in the form ax plus by equal to c. Or you can say that all the variables are orderly arranged at one side of the equal to sign, and then the true constant is also found on the other side. Therefore, using our calculator mode button, select equations, which is number five. Then you select number one, which is simultaneous equation in two variables. So we are going to key in the entries. So the coefficient of P is half. So we go for half. Then you press equal to the coefficient of Q is one. And the true constant for that equation is also one. Then we have to key in the entries for equation two, which we have the coefficient of P as one. Then the coefficient of Q this time around is negative half. And the true constant for that equation is seven. Then we press the equal to sign and the answers are displayed. So this tells us that our variable P is having six as its value. And again, Q will be equal to negative two. But in the question, we are asked to find P plus Q. Therefore, it is six plus negative two, which gives us an answer of four. So the solution is C. Now moving on to our third and final question, we have three P is equal to four Q. And equation two has nine P equal to eight Q minus 12. Find the value of P, Q, meaning the product of P and Q. In the same way, you must see to it that the equations have been written in orderly manner, arranged in an orderly manner. In this case, all the variables are arranged at one side of the equal to sign, and the true constant is also on another side. Therefore, our equation number one, which we have 3P, equal to 4q can be written as 3p minus 4q and that should be equal to 0 and the equation 2 will be 9p minus 8q and that should be equal to negative 4 that is equation 2 so we can go ahead and program it on our calculator. In doing so, we reset the calculator into the zero mode and therefore for equation one, the entries are three equal to negative four, press the equal to sign. This time around, we don't have any true constant, so that is zero equal to then the, for equation two i have nine equal to negative eight and finally negative 12 for the true constant then we press the equal to for the answers to display so we have our p value to be equal to negative four and our Q value to be equal to 
proportion negative three. So finding the product between P and Q, that is going to give us negative four times negative three, and that gives us an answer of 12. And therefore the answer is solution D. Thank you so much for watching this video. Kindly subscribe, share, and then like. All comments are welcome. And have a nice day.